What dessert goes with chili? 10 delicious recipes. Chili is an especially popular choice for busy home chefs because you can make it in advance and just heat it up. But what dessert goes with chili and will it be just as easy to prepare? Here are some dessert recipe ideas to tantalize your taste buds. Cherry chocolate brownies. Chocolate cookies. Strawberry lime ice cream. Pumpkin cupcakes. Pineapple upside down cake. Lemon cookies. Peach cobbler. Chocolate shortbreads. Orange cake with chili chocolate ganache. And apple crisp. Brownies are the ideal dessert for chocolate lovers, no matter what's on the menu. What's more, you can make them hours before you're due to serve dessert, which gives you plenty of time to focus on other things. The ingredients you'll need. 6 ounces of bittersweet chocolate. 10 tablespoons of butter. 2 eggs. Half a cup of superfine sugar. 1 cup of all-purpose flour. 1 half teaspoon of salt. 1 and a half cups of pitted fresh cherries. Half a cup of almond meal. 1 small red chili and cocoa powder. Preheat your oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Lightly grease a baking pan and line with parchment paper. Combine chocolate, butter, sugar, and chili in a double boiler. Stir over low heat until the chocolate is melted and the mixture is smooth. Set aside to cool for 10 minutes. Stir together flour, almond meal, salt, and cherries. Whisk in the eggs until well combined. When the chocolate mixture is cool, combine it with the flour mixture, then add to the prepared pan. Bake for 35 to 40 minutes, or until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. Allow to cool before slicing into squares. Dust with cocoa powder and serve. While we're working the chocolate dessert angle, let's take a look at these spicy delights. Currants spiked with Kahlua take these cookies to the next level. The ingredients you'll need. Half a cup of dried currants. Two tablespoons of Kahlua. Four ounces of bittersweet chocolate. Two ounces of unsweetened chocolate. Three tablespoons of butter. Half a cup of all-purpose flour. One half teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. One quarter teaspoon of baking powder. 1 quarter teaspoon of salt 1 quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon 1 eighth teaspoon of cayenne pepper 3 quarters cup of granulated sugar 2 eggs 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract Preheat oven to 350 degrees Line 2 baking sheets with parchment paper In a small saucepan, heat the Kahlua and currants over low heat until the mixture starts to simmer Remove from heat Combine chocolate and butter in a double boiler. Set over low heat and cook, stirring, until the chocolate is melted. Remove from heat and set aside. In a large bowl, mix together the flour, black pepper, baking powder, salt, cinnamon, and cayenne. In a separate bowl, whisk together the sugar and eggs until the mixture is frothy and light yellow in color. Add the vanilla. Whisk the chocolate mixture into the eggs. Fold the flour mixture into the chocolate mixture and stir until combined. Stir in the currants. Drop spoonfuls of dough onto the prepared baking sheets, leaving at least 2 inches of space between them. Bake for about 12 minutes. Remove cookies from the oven and let cool for about 5 minutes. Transfer to wire racks to cool for another 5 minutes before serving. Wondering what dessert goes with chili in the summer months? Since the ice cream is already cold, it will immediately counteract the heat from the chili powder. The ingredients you'll need 8 ounces of strawberries 1 tablespoon of light brown sugar 1 teaspoon of guajillo chili powder 3 cups of half and half 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract 3 quarters cup of superfine sugar 1 tablespoon of fresh lime juice 1 half teaspoon of kosher salt in a medium bowl, combine the strawberries with the sugar and chili powder. Let the mixture macerate for 30 minutes, then mash together lightly with a fork or potato masher. While you're waiting for the berries to soften, stir together the cream, vanilla, sugar, lime juice, and salt. Follow your ice cream maker's instructions to freeze the mixture until it's set. 
When the vanilla base is ready, gently stir in the strawberries. Enjoy it once, or return the ice cream to the freezer until you're ready to serve dessert. To get more recipes, follow the link below.